Welcome to the Super Bowl champs Seattle Seahawks episode. Yeah, sure. As you guys should sure, know, sure, sure. I'm, a, I'm a Seahawks fan, so I'm excited Life for this long. one. Lifelong, six, seven years now. Um, but I think they're going to be good this year. Uh, before we get started, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're listening at or viewing at. Um, but the Seattle Seahawks last year were nine and eight, and I think they kind of surprised people with that nine and eight. They were supposed to take mm-hmm. a huge drop off. Obviously, a huge part of that was Geno Smith having a breakout season. Yeah, um, but 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Pretty good. It's really good, man. Really good. For a lifelong backup, that's pretty <laughs> solid. Yeah. Um, but offensively, they have quite a few weapons. Now, between DK Metcalf, um, Tyler Lockett, and then Smith and Jigba, they drafted him in the first round this year. I think pick 22 or so. Uh, yeah. those are three guys, especially if Smith and Jigba is good to go, which he's just got a, like a little nagging injury right now. He should be good. By what is the two. injury? I think it's some lower body. I don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, um, wrist. Okay. Upper body. <laughs> Completely off. With something that you use probably to help catch wrist yeah, mobility. That's true. That's true. Should be like um, <laughs> he, what we've missed though is a third reliable receiver and he is that so he could be a huge difference maker for this offense um kenneth walker needs to stay healthy and then they got zach charbonnet out of ucla which was a sneaky good draft pick in my opinion mm-hmm. um being a yeah, pack 12 guy being a pack 12 guy watched him a little bit last year and uh yeah i mean i, I liked what i saw so tight end wise noah fant um is there had a solid last year and low key, like a Seattle favorite is Will Disley. He doesn't yeah, really. He was good. He was good. Like, I think he's been hurt for yeah. the majority of his career. But I swear there was one part where he went off and I had him in fantasy and he was doing very good. And then he just yeah. like tore his knee and then tore his something else. And then yes, it was just he out. Did. He's dealt with some big, big time injuries. Um, offensive dead, line, though. they should be better than last year. You're talking about some young guys and Abraham Lucas on the right side. Um, Charles Cross on the left side. Both of those guys are young tackles. I think going Didn't they into just second... draft Cross last year and, and Lucas. They were both uh, rookies both last, last year. year. Yeah, and then Damian Lewis at guard. He was two years ago. Uh, oh wow! So young offensive line. Uh, they drafted Anthony Bradford uh, in the draft this year. I think a third or fourth round pick to to help out the offensive line as well. So it's young, but it has promise. Um, defensively, now this is where. I'm a little shakier about them. Uchenna Unwosu, they got him from the Chargers. It was his first year there last year. That was pretty good. What's that? Pretty good pronunciation. Oh, I appreciate it. (laughs) They got Mario Edwards this offseason. And then Jaron Reed makes his return to the the Seahawks defensive line. Boye Mafe, a second-year guy, linebacker. Bobby Wagner makes his return uh, after after a weird Rams year last year where he was there for a year. That's kind of... I don't know. Very odd. Um, Jordan Brooks is coming back from a, a big time injury. Cornerbacks wise, Tariq Woolen on one side, dog. You got Michael Jackson on the other side. He has he was looked awful during uh I knew you're gonna laugh. He looked awful during um spring training, during the preseason. And uh so I don't know if he's gonna really stick over there. We got Trey Brown, they drafted last year. Um and then the safeties, Quandre Diggs has been Low key, a absolute stud of a safety mm-hmm. um, for several years now, and then they got Julian Love as well. So they have some dudes. I think the biggest difference maker is Jamal Adams. He's not going to be good for Week One, but he's back. Yeah. Should be Week Two or Week Three. He's the biggest difference maker for me. Isn't Kobe um, Bryant supposed to be good? I don't know why he's their third string. I thought he was supposed to be good. Kobe Bryant and Trey Brown both will get playing time, and then they have at linebacker another guy. Oh, sorry, not a linebacker. Um, I was thinking Devin Bush, Devon Witherspoon. They drafted him fourth or fifth overall in the draft out of Illinois. So he's going to be a guy that kind of fits in the mix. So oh, they have... he's a cornerback. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was supposed to be like the best cornerback in the league, obviously, if you take him fifth overall. Exactly. So they have depth here that if a guy like Michael Jackson, who looked, again, awful during preseason, that they have I think they have Witherspoon, kind of Witherspoon may not have played because he's like questionable. 
Maybe I don't that's think why he Michael played Jackson much, played if a lot. any. Yeah, I don't think he played much, if any, this this uh, preseason. Uh, Michael was the starter last year, but Kobe Bryant was a draft pick, and so was Trey Brown. I think Trey Brown was out of Oklahoma, if I remember correctly. Mm. But um, yeah, defensively they have guys like I said, Jamal Adams is the difference maker, though. Where if he comes in, they just can never stay healthy. That that's always the, yeah. the struggle with Jamal. Yeah. Um, but offensively, they got some they got some dudes. Defensively, got some dudes. They got they got star talent. Mm-hmm. Um, Looking at the schedule, we have to remember they have the lowly Cardinals and they have the lowly Rams in this division. So they yeah. have those two, and then then you got the the mighty 49ers. So I think it's going to be between – not think. We know it's going to be between the Seahawks and Niners. Now, uh, week one, they have the Rams, and I have them winning this one. Uh, I will have them win as well. Week two is at the Lions, and I have them losing this one. Uh, at yeah, they're gonna lose there. I apologize. Week three at home versus the Panthers. I think the Panthers are gonna be like, a, like hard to beat. I should say, but I I think the yeah. uh, Seahawks will win this one. Yeah, I think you guys will um beat them as well. Week four is at the Giants. I have a W here. I'm gonna go loss. I thought as about I put it. up a third win in my fingers, but say loss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about giving them a loss there. They have a really early bye in week five, which I wonder how that's going to play out throughout the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, but they come out of that bye with a really tough matchup. Week six at the Bengals, I have them losing on the road. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're going to lose that one as well. Week seven is at home versus the Cardinals. I have a W there. Yep, win. <laughs> and then week eight at home as well is against the Browns, and I have them winning that one. Um, I'll give you the win because it's at home. Week nine is at the Ravens. Tough matchup. Um, uh, Battle of the Birds. I have a loss here. I think you guys are going to lose. Week 10 at home versus the Commanders. A, a win. Win. Week 11. I think it's week 11. Week 11 at yeah. the Rams. A win. I was very tempted to like split it with the Rams, but I'll give you a win. And then week 12, I actually have them winning at home versus the 49ers. Is that a Thursday night game? I don't have it written down. Yeah, it's Thursday. That's what I thought. Yeah, but I have a win. I'm going to give you guys a win for that one. Right on. And then the matchup we've been waiting for. (laughs) So I have them losing to the Cowboys as well. I will say that. Uh, It's going to be tough on the road. If it was at home, it might be a different story. But that's the matchup between you and I. I'm waiting for, man. That's going to be a showdown. They have Wait, what am I on? Okay. Oh, that's the time when we play Thanksgiving and then we play uh the Thursday after. So I think your game against the 49ers is on Thanksgiving. Okay. No, I think you're right. That's right. I believe I think you're right. Yeah, um, the 23rd. What am I at? Week 15? Uh at the 14. Niners. Ugh, week 14. I already lost track of how many wins I gave. Week 14 is at the Niners. I have a loss here as well. Yeah, you guys lose that one. That's a tough three-game stretch, man. Cowboys, yeah. Niners, then the Eagles at home. I have them beating the Eagles to get back on track a little bit. I don't think you guys are going to beat the Eagles. It's I'm tough. sorry. It's tough. And then I actually have them losing on the road at the Titans after beating the Eagles. So I have you beaten the Titans. Okay. Then they finish at home versus the Steelers. I have them winning that one. Um, I'm gonna give you a win there too. And then they finish off the season like it should be a win versus the Cardinals. <laughs> yep, should be win against win. the Cardinals. <laughs> so I have my Seattle Seahawks at eleven and six for this season. I am ninety nine percent sure I gave you ten wins. I may have counted wrong, but I think it's either nine, ten, or eleven. <laughs> I All think right, it's I 10, got though. you. <laughs> okay, ten and seven. Yeah, I I don't know. I want to say eleven and six can win that division. Um, but with the Niners, man, we'll we'll get to them in, in I mean this week in a couple days, but uh part of me still just believes the Niners are gonna win this division at like twelve and five or something, and then we'll have to get a yeah. wild card. Mm-hmm. That's just what I'm I leaning towards. That, yeah. Um but overall, a two they were nine and eight last year, so a two win improvement for me, a one, one win, win improvement for you. Uh, but I'm liking I'm liking the the you know the potential that this the yeah. Seahawks team has. You guys got a bad draw with uh 
the NFC East as your yes. NFC division you have to play because all those yes. teams are not terrible. No, Commanders could even be a tough matchup. Yeah, um, and then you know we're I, talking about the Ravens and the Bengals and Browns, Steelers. I'm trying to think who it was. Oh, I think it was the Dolphins. One of the teams I did yesterday. They had, I think it was the Dolphins. They had to play all the AFC East, and then they also got paired with the AFC West for oh, the two other <laughs> division. Jeez, man, which is terrible. Or they had yeah, to play like that, yeah, all the AFC West. It seemed like I think so too. And then yeah, NFC, yeah, it's tough. I don't remember who they it was, but yeah. But no, I, I think the Seahawks have a bright future. And I think they did a really good job not falling off the cliff too much there. You know, there was a huge mm-hmm. transition, especially at quarterback, where you could have gone downhill quick, but Gino came in and kind of saved the day. And so instead of having a valley where they really went down, like nine and eight was kind of their valley. And I think it's only up from here if everybody yeah. stays healthy. So yeah, but that wraps it up for the Seattle Seahawks and uh, go Hawks and we'll see you for the next one. Let's see you guys.